Hello, brothers and sisters, you are welcome to Heal Me Dear Africa, where we discuss self emptying service. Today, we call on the Holy Spirit of God, our own destiny maker, to come and help us to show mercy. Spirit of the living God, Spirit. The Trinity, second, third person. You who are in the Father and the Son, come. We beg you, come into us. When you are in us, we are able. And we will give mercy through Christ our Lord. My dear friends, the question the topic is a question, or a question form. He said, what is stopping you? What is your hindrance from showing mercy? And I was recalling to us that mercy, simply put, is letting people go, letting them free. And I remember, and you remember, the issue of Lazarus. When Jesus said to the people, Open, show me where you let him say to Matthew. He's smelling, he would have been smelling by now. He saw three days since he has been laying in the tomb. And eventually they took him to the tomb. And he called, Lysus, come out. And Lysus got up. The word was untie him, follow him, and let him go. Mercy, mercy unties those who are bonded, those who are in prison, those who are in pain, in sickness, those who are, are confined and constricted. Mercy unties them and let them go and set them free. When we are called to give mercy, so beautiful, we are called to act and perform and become another Jesus, the other Christus, another Jesus for our brothers and sisters. We are called to untie them and let them go. Untie them of the illness, untie them of the pain, untie them of the hurt, and try them of things, fault they have had against us, bad things they have done to us. We are not happy because of what they did. But when we untie them, we forgive, we show mercy. For all they did, they don't merit our mercy. They don't merit us untying them of their own suffering and hardship. They don't merit it. But mercy say, untie them. And let them. Even if they are smelling, even if they have been in the tomb, and in this hardship, in this difficulty they put us, even if they have been there for three years, for 30 years, for 300 years, the mercy of God say, untie them and let them go. What is it that is preventing you from untying the people? Untying those who did it right, those who were saved by the precious blood of the Son of God, but they need you to untie them. Are you with me? There are people, everybody in this world has been objectively saved by Jesus Christ. His death on the cross has saved all of us. But nobody is actually saved who has not been untied, as it were, who has not appropriated, who has not appropriated the salvation wrought by Jesus. Mm. You see it? So that all Christians, all Catholics, all believers, bishops, priests, brothers and sisters, lay people, you are in bondage until you untie the people that Jesus saved. Jesus saved them and you tie them. You refuse to forgive them. You refuse, you refuse to set them free. Ha! Ah, you, mercy of God, the one you have received, that you must give. And so, when you look at it, my brothers, what is it that is preventing you from untying others? 
What is it that is preventing you from bringing something you receive freely? It was not, you didn't pay for mercy. Excuse me? Did any of you pay for mercy? Did you pay? Did you buy it? It was given freely by the one who gave and shed his own blood for it. And so we all then have no reason, we have no excuse for not letting others go free for whatever they have done against us or against our rule or against our fathers, our brothers, our communities, our schools, our everything, our country. And so you are called to untie, to liberate, to set us free. And you can see now that nothing can separate us from the love of mercy. Nothing can separate us. Neither death, nor illness, nor family, nor brothers and sisters. Nothing selfishness, nothing great, nothing whatsoever, material or spiritual, can deprive us, deny us, prevent us from showing mercy because we receive it free. Eternal Father, every man has been liberated by you. Every man and woman has been set free by you. Please, do not allow us to let selfishness and greed and hatred, material possessions, whatsoever, to take us away from the freedom of giving the same mercy we have received to others who are in dire need of it. Do this for us, we beg you, through Christ our Lord.